Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Chris and today I want to show you a nice little detail in one of my all-time favorite games, Grim Fandango. Here in this little beautiful poetry club owned by Olivia, which is standing right behind me, there's something happening and it's not really part of the story, but it's a kind of fun little detail. I'm not really sure if, the, if it ends here with this detail or if there's anything else, but let's jump right in. And the person I'm talking hey, about is look, this beautiful lady beats. here on the left Hi, of the stage. Name? When we ask her what's her name, she's shy, she Lola? doesn't talk much about it. This scene is followed by Lola taking a photo of Nick and Olivia making out in the back office. Lola grabs the camera and runs out of the bar. We talk shortly to Olivia, further go into the kitchen. And we check out this cool dude here making some coffin shooter drinks with special ingredient. Just the dab will drop you. Hey man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. He's pouring the drinks in his little super cute little coffin cocktail shooter glasses, whatever. Takes the drinks, heads out, where we follow him to find out the scene where the girl gets a drink and passes out right after sipping it down. Before we get any further, let's all just appreciate how magically this guy can disappear in the middle of the room. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. So the lady is knocked out cold, no. sitting in a chair and is not approachable. We're no trying effect. to talk to her, but there's no effect. Testing. Testing. But look what happens if we like read out a poem and say the magic key Weak. phrase. Weak. B and She just magically wakes up when we say the magic word wake. How crazy is that? And you might think now, now we can talk to her, now there's something to gain from. But again, she does not respond to our questions. She doesn't speak anything at all. So the question here is like, is there a deeper meaning to this? Does this detail have anything, any, anything else in mind? So that made me thinking, and I tried what are the other scenarios we could try out for. Another hilarious feature of this section of the game is you can get on the stage and record a two hour long freestyle poetry slam to your liking with the hey, options look, they give you. There's really no time limit, What's believe me, I tried. I, I was literally 50 minutes just blubbering words and seeing what happens. The magical idea though is then you can go to Olivia and ask Olivia to say her own poem and she has a couple of poems up her sleeves but anytime you say your own poem on stage go after her right after she will one to one copy exactly what you said so yes last time i did the 50 minute bit she then as well did a 50 minute bit and she got much more applause than me but this also means if i say the word wake she will say the word wake and the only thing we have to do to make this work in this case is simply that we have to say our poetry slam first before we get to the kitchen and watch and mix the drinks so the girl's still awake. And then we go through the exact same steps with Lola and everything, go in the kitchen, watch the cocktails getting mixed up, talk to Olivia, ask her to receive her own poem, and she will copy ours. Go, go, go. Wake. Rise up. Wow, that was pretty cool if you ask me. Um, having the option that she can have work her up as well. It's pretty funny. I really wish this would have been like an achievement or something in Steam. Or you would get something else out of it. Unfortunately, that seems to be the end of it. Um, I went back again, talked to her again after Olivia woke her up and all these kind of things. But the situation never changed. She never started talking to us she never took anything from us i tried to give her things i tried to give her another drink nothing happens uh the waiter doesn't show up again he's gone 
So unfortunately, I think that's the end of the story. However, I think it's still pretty funny, super nice little special feature to have put in the game. It might not mean anything, or maybe it was supposed to mean something and they just couldn't finalize it in their timeline to add that in. I have no idea. Or maybe there's something else and I just don't know. If there's any if there's any one of you out there that knows any more to that, I would love to hear that. Please, please leave a comment down below. I hope you had a good time watching this. Thank you. And uh, check out the channel for more, for much, much more Grim Fandango. Love this game. Love all old games. Uh, yeah, check out the channel if you have time. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Hi, what's your name?